probably the biggest loss for us is James Hook in terms of his versatility midfield. He's played at fullback. We know he can play at ten. Gives us options. So, and his form's been outstanding just recently for the Ospreys. So you know, for us, you know, he's definitely a big loss on tour in terms of his, his versatility and um, and just just a, just a quality player. But we feel in other positions, um, yes, there's some players unavailable, but we've got some some cover, some depth, and 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 players to to fill the void. If we look at some of the individuals involved, uh, there's obviously a new name for a, a lot of people, Tavis Noyle. Um, what's impressed you about him? A youngster, um, we've been very impressed. Just just technically, he's, he's got a good pass, uh, a very good kick on him. He doesn't mind mind the physical contact, and he's he's got a frame that we think we can do something with as well. He's a he's a, he's a youngster, very positive. Um, a lot of people describe him as a, as a young Mike Phillips in terms of you know confidence on the rugby field, very quiet off the field. I don't know if Mike's so quiet off the field, but uh, you know Tavis is, is like that, and we think that um, potentially is a is a player for the future. Um, we watched him really closely with the Scarlets. He's had some some good games. He's come in, and um, and we've been very impressed with him this season. The other uncapped player in the squad, Rob McCusker. What's impressed you about him? Yeah, exciting young player. He's uh, he's big. He's physical. Um, one thing he's got is definite pace. He's been involved with with the Welsh Sevens in the past, and. Uh, He's had an opportunity with uh, with the Scarlets, um, and he's, he's he's really impressed us as the season's gone. And he's opportunity perhaps with a couple of players that, that may have been perceived as being ahead of him in terms of injuries. But uh, this, is, this is a fantastic chance for for Rob to come into the squad and, and make an impression, make an impact, and uh, hopefully um, be the start of a long career for him. Absolutely, and uh, you know John's been around for a while, having been a part of uh, you know 2005 in terms of the Grand Slam. There he's he's been in the squad. It's been a little bit unfortunate that he has had injuries. He's sort of been behind um, Duncan Jones and Gethin Jenkins for a long time. But uh, you know, we've had him in here training. He's uh, we know he's in pretty good shape, and uh, and if he's called upon, he, we know he's uh, a real asset to the squad. Not just in terms of what he can do on the field, but off the field, he's uh, he's a fantastic contrib- contributor to the to the squad and the team and the environment. And um, it's it's great to have him back. We've consistently said let's go out and try and play against the best teams in the world and, and keep matching ourselves against uh, the best players um, in South Africa. You can't get a much harder team than South Africa as world champions and then going to New Zealand. It wasn't until I left New Zealand I realised you know, it's a difficult place to go and get a performance and get a result. And um, But if we can you know, play well against South Africa, hopefully get a win and get some confidence and self-belief, go down to New Zealand and, and really look at hopefully putting them under some pressure.